beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so on you and you here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed when your glory comes, there'll be no words to say. The glory of God is a definition of his weightiness, his entirety. Every component that makes him God, his wisdom, his power, his favor. When you expose people to the atmosphere of his glory, they never live the same some of them will live with wisdom or heightened wisdom some of them will live with favor some of them will live with all kinds of miracles when the rod was placed in an atmosphere of that glory even though it didn't have root to the earth it bonded in 24 hours when the glory comes there'll be no words to say oh, oh, oh. When His glory comes, there will be no words to say. From the beginning of this conference, many of you have endured making sacrifices from one speaker after another, one vessel after another. Some of you may have been around for the past six years of the ABM, some of you a few of the years some of you this is your first night now let me tell you the possibilities that you receive in an atmosphere of god's glory does not depend on his love alone neither does it even depend on his will it depends on the sincerity of your hunger and your recognition for god can be in a place and you do not know covered by pride maybe covered by carelessness maybe are we together covered by all kinds of factors it takes admitting that when God comes in the midst of his people, there is always something to see, there is always something to get, there is always something to receive. Among the many things that God does to his people is to grant them access to his glory. Moses said, show me your glory. And God did not reject the request. That means he desires that his glory be seen. We're going to pray for 10 minutes from my time. Hallelujah. It's a miracle service. We'll take some time to pray. And there is prayer that is for edification. There is prayer that is for warfare and supplication. There is prayer that is for intercession. As many compartments as far as the administration of it is concerned. But the prayer we are praying for the next 10 minutes is to enlarge our capacity in the spirit. 10 minutes is not all the time you need but with respect to this atmosphere i did tell us in the morning it is a waste to pour anything from heaven upon a vessel that is closed or a vessel that is small these are the two conditions of vessels that make any investment on them a total waste 
a vessel that is close no matter how large cannot receive a vessel that is small no matter how willing cannot receive more than its capacity hallelujah so i like you right where you are to begin to pray in the spirit i like you to see your ministry as you are praying stepping into another level i like you to see the mandate god has placed upon your life stepping into another level whether you are at the back whether you are in front it does not matter i like you to see your music ministry being part of the cutting edge tools that god will use in this end time i like you to see the prophetic mandate that is upon your life that perhaps is at its infancy fan to flames to dimensions where it can serve the purposes of god across nations someone is praying please pray just a few minutes in the spirit i like you to see your bishopric as far as the end time program of god is concerned being secured and preserved by your passion and determination
Just two more minutes in the spirit. Seeing that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight, every sin and every weight, and then to run with perseverance the race that is set before us. In the name of Jesus. 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 Now please listen. Before you sit down, the Lord just opened my eyes to see something. Don't sing. But as I raise the song, please bring all the people out under the anointing. God is doing something very, very mighty. You are glorious, so glorious in your ways. You are powerful, so powerful in your ways. You are awesome, so awesome in your ways. Just bring them out under the anointing. You are powerful. So powerful in your ways. Oh, that's that our woman. Just a moment. You are powerful. So powerful in your ways. There is a spirit of glory that is resting upon people. Your ministry and your life will not be the same. Not this night. Yahweh, Yahweh, you are glorious, so glorious in your ways. Dear prophet of God, there is a clarion call upon your destiny. Yahweh, Yahweh. You are glorious, Shalabada Gata Fresca de Belegatos, Cabran de Cabarato, Sadia da Balada Balada. You are mighty, so mighty in your ways. There is an ignition of fire. You'll be seated shortly, but this is what God is doing, and this is the instruction He gave me. Young and old alike, it's an outpouring of the Spirit upon you. You are powerful so powerful in your ways you are powerful powerful so powerful in your ways oil is being poured upon the destinies of men not just their heads the destinies of men you are powerful please bring them out so powerful in your ways you are mighty, so mighty in your ways. You can be dangerous, so dangerous in your ways. You can be dangerous, so dangerous in your ways. Shall I get there? Oh. Oh, 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 o
Shalagata Braskata Bakatoska Brandega Baratusiata. Shalaga Baraketoska da Brandega Barakuska Diata. Shafras Kemenende Basko La Braska de Balakato Frasigata. I'm hearing the word selected and appointed for a time as this. There are people you have been selected by God. That unction is coming upon you right now. Selected for your families. Selected for your regions. Some you've seen it in dreams. Others in visions. But this is a night. Here in Abel Kuta, that mantle of your destiny is locating you. Bring them out. Selected and appointed. For a time as this, others for a generation, others the Josephs of the family. Young and old, male or female, the spirit of grace, selected and appointed. There are people, there are mantles upon you. You do not even know God is bringing you out by His Spirit. Rapa kata pasha la barande sebele ketusiata. Shabrande ke bereke tuskati brande ke badiata. Hallelujah. Now please hear me. Hear me. The Lord is ministering to me that there are people here. A spiritual season is coming to an end in your life. And another one is opening up. It's, it's a new level of grace and a new level of fire. For some, you are ministers of the gospel. God brought you here because Abata Shadabata. There is a dimension of grace. Ministers of the gospel. I'm hearing this particularly for preachers. People who are ministers of the gospel. The mantle that has been looking for you. I direct it to you. I direct it to you. Male and female. Access that mantle. In the name of Jesus. Access that mantle. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please listen. When we call people out like this, it is not just for show, just to see people littered on the ground. No. There is something that God is doing. I stretch my hands towards all those in front in the name of Jesus the levels in the spirit that you should enter for the sake of your destiny and your assignment we command vistas to be open now by apostolic authority I decree in the name of Jesus in the name that is above all names I call upon he who has the key of David may that new realm and dimension be open for you in the name of Jesus let it be open for you let it be open for you in jesus name now hear me please please as much as those who can go back to their seats in front i want them to go because i want to make another call please sit down if you can please sit down if you can be very sensitive whether i saw so many people at the back doesn't matter which you know whether you are at the the, um, the canopy or any other place i want you to be very sensitive i had a brief time of prayer 
there is another set of people I'm going to ask to come out. Those, if, if they cannot stand up, just leave them. Please, don't force them. Now, listen, please. One of the mantles that God is restoring in this conference, I had a vision, and it was the vision of the transfiguration. And I saw Moses and Elijah. There are two types of the prophetic. The prophetic ministry that will be activated in this end time. Moses was a prophet. Elijah was a prophet. But the administration of their offices were not the same. Are we together? All of them were mandated to preserve the purposes of God in a generation. Elijah preserved from Jezebel and Ahab. Moses preserved from Pharaoh and all of them required signs and wonders. It was a mantle and a rod that helped them to preserve the purposes of God. God is restoring an ancient prophetic heritage. Please hear me. I'm speaking to you by the Spirit. Many grandfathers, some of you come from physical paternal families that carry the heritage of the prophetic. But because you are dull of seeing and your ears do not hear, they just told you a story that your grandfather was part of those who would visit these men at the campground. And you have been having visions of these experiences. One of the mandates tonight is to stir up particularly this prophetic dimension again. We need it not just for show. Don't be afraid of the prophetic because of the little abuses here. There is going to be a stirring a steering of that prophetic mantle for some of you that mantle has been hovering around whole families and everybody has rejected it everybody has rejected it i pray that you are not the one to reject it tonight yeah. hallelujah now i'm going to pray the moment i make this call my apologies if, if I don't have the time to teach. It's a miracle service. Healing is something we can do in 10 minutes. These are superior levels of spiritual activations that strengthen God's people and make the program of God efficient. For those people, I want you by the anointing to bring them out right now. There is a restoration of the prophetic. God wants to have these prophetic representations across families and regions hey <speaking in Spanish> hey stretch my hands right now upon everyone that has been assigned in God's program and prophetic schedule to carry this mantle whether you are aware or not at the count of three in the name that is above all names whether you are seated or standing may that mantle search you out right now I release that grace carry that mantle right now male and female bring them out preachers businessmen that mantle of the prophetic in the order of Moses and Elijah coming upon your life please help that lady some of you have been faithful in certain seasons God has subjected you through certain seasons and you have been faithful now a new order of grace that prophetic only the prophetic that's what God is ministering to people on now I stretch my hands yet again from the back to the front there may be someone no one is seeing you but the all-seeing eye of the God of Jeshurun the one who rides upon the wings of the wind May that grace find you right now. Please bring them out. May that grace find you right now. May that grace find you right now. David was in the wilderness and the anointing still found him.
Holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Father, all of these prophetic graces you are staring. In the name of Jesus, I pray that they will go through the seasons of training faithfully and they will find their place in your prophetic program. I activate those graces now. I activate those graces now. The seeing eye and the hearing ear. I activate those graces now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I activate those graces now. When Joel stood in Acts, in, when Peter stood in Acts chapter 2, he said, This is that which was prophesied by Joel the prophet that in the last days I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, not some, all flesh. Hallelujah. The spirit of prayer and intercession as a mantle is coming on certain people right now. Father, I don't know where these people are, but in the name of Jesus, as touching your program, not only in Abel Kuta, not only in the Southwest, but even in partnership with what you are doing across the globe, may that mantle of prayer and prophetic intercession let it rest upon you now let it rest upon you let it rest upon you now not just young people even elderly people you will see mothers in their 50s 60s 70s traveling for hours by the energy of the spirit in the name of jesus christ The spirit of prayer and intercession is resting upon you right where you are because you need to build capacity for that which God is committing to your life and your destiny. My last prayer for this session please listen carefully i'm only ministering as the spirit of god is ministering to me there are many of you that are going to be delivered right now from the spirit of error please hear me there is the spirit of error the spirit of error only activate is activated when it finds zeal you can have zeal but the spirit of error can lead a man into something that may seem to have a semblance of godliness but you will later find out whether it's your prophetic pursuit whether it's ministerial pursuit there is a path the bible says a way that seemeth right unto a man unto a man of god unto a prophet unto an apostle in the name of jesus any man any church any prayer group any platform that is under attack from the spirit of error i decree and declare right now in this crusade i command that spirit and that influence to live your destiny now <laughs> hallelujah listen the bible says the spirit speaketh expressly that in the last days 
some shall depart from the faith and shall give heed to seducing spirits and the doctrine of demons there are people today whose entire spiritual construct was founded on spirits of error it does not mean the people are bad you can have a vision many people's lives have been confused today because of spirits that carry a semblance of the holy spirit and give mandates and assignments the more you are obedient to that mandate the more it is misleading you and others there is no righteousness and there is no green pasture in that kind of obedience i'm praying again false dreams lying visions go and read it in the bible peter thought he was under the influence of the spirit of god when he was trying to rebuke jesus from dying and jesus looked at him and said get thee behind me satan for peter satan has desired to sift you like wheat he said but i have prayed for you that your faith fail not he says and when thou art converted strengthen your brethren there are many of you the prophetic inclinations you are delving into you may delve from a sincere heart but it's not being sponsored by the spirit of god including a semblance of healing mantles there are people who have gone to fast and pray and came back with experiences that carry a semblance of spirituality but when we gauge them against the integrity of god's word we find it wanting on many counts again i'm praying the spirit of error that is creeping into your bible study life creeping into your prayer life taking advantage of your zeal and hunger for god and for spiritual things I command that devil of error to leave you now. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Please be seated. God bless you. Please be seated. God bless you. These are the kinds of meetings that make people and preserve the program of God for the next 10, 20, 30 years if Christ tarries. Let me charge our hearts. Tonight as I'm speaking, the Holy Ghost is going to be giving people specific instructions about your own life and about your own ministry. Please make sure your ears are open to hear both. As you are hearing this man of God speak, in the midst of the things I'm saying, the Spirit of God is also going to be speaking. I wish I had a little fan around me. I'm sweating up and down. Please, if you can find a fan for me just to help encourage me while I'm here, may God bless you. Even if it's from a distance, don't, don't, um, please make sure that you don't take from that which is on our father's yes anywhere just something to help thank you sir but what happens to them now please let's let's hallelujah tonight i want to charge our hearts finally and then we'll pray you have received many things in the course of this conference thank you i think this is fine if this becomes too close, it will affect the sound quality. So that's fine. You can return it back. This is fine. Maybe you can replace that one there. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Who is Rebecca? Rebecca. I had the name Rebecca. They call you Becky. Rebecca. Rebecca. You are wearing... You are wearing a headgear that is like um, baby pink. Rebecca. Rebecca. Is there someone like that? No, let. Please verify. Come. 
What's your name? No, let them come up. I'll just speak over your life. Where are you from, my dear? I want to pray for you. I'm stretching my hands towards you. Yet the person the power of God is falling on is right in the crowd there. Please bring that person. The power of God is coming on one of you. I just saw oil coming on one of you now. When that happens, then I will speak over the rest. But among you people, the power of God is coming on one person right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's a new season and there is a deliverer that is arising. I had that name, Rebecca. Every weakness in the name of Jesus, of the flesh, that is not giving you room to access spiritual things. I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, be set free right now. What he says to one, he says to all, be set free right now. Be set free right now. Abiodun. Who is Abiodun? Abiodun. Please don't come out carelessly just because. Let's make sure so we don't make this place rowdy. Abiodun, not your father's name, your name. Abiodun. Hallelujah. Now listen, this is serious. Please hear me. I saw light just leave God's servant, Pastor Shola, up. And then it was just roaming around. And it, it is looking for somebody with the same name. Your name is Olu Shola. Is it Olu Shola? Or something like, is, there some, is, there, is that it? Or is it Olu or, or, or De Shola or something like that? I know there is Shola in the name. I saw that light just went up and like hovering around because there will be a replica of this kind of abel kuta believers meeting beginning from this year god is going to stand it will be in other parts of abel kuta believe me it may not be called abm but an anointing this night is coming on people with mandates you will go to regions and start putting together meetings like this that will start filing God's army for the next season. And I'm saying this because some of you, even as pastors, as a ministerial couple, that mandate will come upon you and God will say, I'm trusting you with my program for other regions that may not be able to make it in this meeting. My goodness, all these gentlemen. What's your name, sir? Olushola. What do you do, this gentleman? Fashion you, designer. Fashion, huh? des fashion designer. You are a fashion designer. Yes, sir. Because I am seeing the grace that was on Stephen, that he started with serving tables, but he ended up being a mighty person. You may be a fashion designer, but what?
unable to rise to fulfill their prophetic potential when you find that person please let me know but let me pray for these ones father in the name of jesus i pray for these people who have come out here by the power that raised christ from the dead everything that represents a limitation over your life and destiny i command that it gives way now i command that it gives way now in the name of jesus for someone you had a dream and in that dream you were instructed to fast for three days and you have dishonored that dream there is a revelation that is connected to that spiritual exercise you see when god speaks it's important to obtain grace to obey are we together now this is what god is revealing to me three days to separate yourself bishop oedipo said it was during three days he was fasting and praying and light from scripture entered into him and a revelation came that set the ministry up who is that person you are the gentleman fasting you believe in god so let me i'm going to pray for you for grace hallelujah i hope you know that gluttony is a spirit it's not just a habit there is a spirit that even if when you are not fasting you can stay till seven o'clock and not remember you have eaten but the moment you declare fasting please don't come out randomly by eight o'clock even if it's even if it's um uh, what do they call it tom tom your spirit will not rest you want to open that tom tom and put it in your mouth it's not about quenching hunger it's a demonic spirit the ability to tame your appetite for food is an expression of your ability to tame many other things because food is the most obvious that you can see are we together let's honor our fathers let's honor <clears throat> hallelujah for these gentlemen in the name of jesus i pray that the hand of god will come upon you my friend i want you to obey god eh? obey god if god has told you and given you that instruction then obey him that grace comes upon you in the name of jesus and for all of you abiodun i command the limitations over your life let it drop from this night in the mighty name of jesus god bless you please return to your seat where are these mothers all of you help them please god bless you sir now listen i hope you see what god is doing in this place these are mothers who are standing in for their children it's not enough to succeed according to succeed as a person until the person who comes out of you The man who would be used by God to defeat the Gideon, the, the, the Midianites, he was hiding in fear, the least of the father's house. In the name of God, for your children, and we use them as points of contact. Whatever has made you cry in your lifetime, before you see the face of God, I'm using them as a point of contact to pray for any parent here. Please listen. You don't have to kneel, Mama. Please just stand except if you want to but in the name of jesus christ any parent here who has a child that has brought you pain brought you trouble you are sitting peacefully they call you from a police station and say your child is at it again it is any child you see who is misbehaving just believe me there is a prophetic destiny on that child there is something that makes satan to zoom his attention there and if you don't have a child that is grown to that extent don't say it does not matter don't wait till it happens send a prayer cover to preserve them and say my child will not be the reason for my death in the name of jesus lift your voice in one minute and let's pray father we decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit they sang the song here that our generation will praise your name he said my son pay attention to my words incline your ears to my saying do not let them depart from your heart keep them in the midst of your heart he says your mouth keep them in the midst of your heart he said they are life to those who find them and health to their flesh let's pray for our children 
let the spirit of responsibility come upon the young men and the young ladies let the spirit of laziness and entitlement you are my hiding place you always fill my heart with songs of deliverance whenever i am afraid i will trust in you hallelujah hallelujah in the name of jesus christ my mother lord has visited all of you you will return with your testimonies in jesus name i don't know why god has chosen to go this direction but please let's work with humility and honor him i'm hearing in my spirit that we should pray for all the schools including secondary schools there is an intentional plot by satan please hear me everyone destroying nations today was once a baby he was once a child satan grew with a generation today that is vocally and institutionally rejecting god we have to change that narrative don't be tired though it's a miracle service those of you who own schools the only thing you are, you are, that you should be looking for should not be increment in school fees and technical knowledge for god's sake restore the values of the kingdom this is not about fanatism hallelujah you go to some of our schools you will be shocked to tears to know what some of these children know hallelujah they will watch you as an adult and be looking at your ignorance even in adulthood because they have been exposed to evil in the fullness of his strength and some of them have the destinies of deliverers in one minute if you love abel kuta and you love your children and your program i want you to cry to the god of heaven visit our schools from the primary schools to the secondary school someone is praying someone is praying Pray for every teacher, pray for every proprietor, proprietress, director. This is where the ministry of intercession comes. Lord, we will not lose our children. There is a generation that is rising to be greater than us greater in power greater in revelation greater in character greater in encounters the devil will not destroy them in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the healing power of jesus you've seen the testimony of our dear sister who god granted a miracle miracles are real they are not stage managed they are not a figment of men's imagination. It is a demonstration of the love and the might of Jesus. Lay your hands, I want to pray for you. You can also stand for someone who is sick far beyond this place and the power of God is able to touch them. As I shout the name of Jesus, I want you to shout a thunderous amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare that every spirit of infirmity that has followed you to this ground or follow those that you are standing in for by the power that raised Christ from the dead we declare that it gives way now from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet be healed in Jesus name 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 blood diseases be healed in Jesus name migraines be healed in Jesus name bone conditions be healed in Jesus name any stranger in your body that has not been planted by God we uproot it right now right now in the name of jesus and in the same vein i speak over everyone here that has been in any kind of demonic captivity we announce your exodus now in the name of jesus christ 
Eye conditions be healed. Ear conditions be healed. Heart conditions be healed. Genotype issues be corrected. Fertility issues be corrected. Failed organs receive brand new organs. In the name of Jesus Christ. And if there is anybody you know who has been given any death sentence as far as sickness is concerned maybe suffering from cancer or suffering from whatever in the name of Jesus we speak life to them we declare that they will not die in the mighty name of Jesus now I stand in faith with the fathers here represented over Abel Kuta over the southwest and I decree and declare the role you have to play in the global revival the role you have to play in the continental revival across Africa the role that you have to play as far as the revival in Nigeria is concerned obtain grace to play it with honor in the name of Jesus Christ I declare over someone here your bishop could not be taken by another all those who have been sent as watchmen to prepare people in the place of priesthood obtain grace to be effective in your assignment the communicators of doctrine who have been given the eye of the spirit to dissect scripture and bring understanding to the body receive grace to be effective the pastors that have been mandated to take care of God's flock in the name of Jesus I declare that you will be effective the apostles and the prophets that have been mandated to coordinate the spiritual activities across their predefined territories receive grace to serve God's purposes with humility in the name of Jesus the kingdom financiers that have been mandated to be empowered by wisdom and to supply resources that make for this coming revival obtain grace to be effective in the mighty name of Jesus and I pray for all within the land of Abel Kuta it will be a tragic thing if this kind of prophetic and apostolic conference is happening yearly and then it does not translate to the spiritual advancement the socio-economic advancement of the people within the land therefore I lend my voice with every man of God here we pray first for every church in Abel Kuta regardless the denomination regardless the platform provided they name the name of Christ and contribute towards the building and the maturing of the saints be empowered afresh in the name of Jesus be empowered afresh in the name of Jesus we pray for every business and every economic structure that has been put in this land to provide value and better the lives of people in the name of Jesus the wisdom and the favor you need to thrive and remain receive it in the name of Jesus we pray for this ministry that have so graciously provided the platform year in year out for us to be blessed in the name of Jesus we stand in faith with the angel over this ministry and we declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead that that which comes upon men who give their all to the program of God let it come upon this ministry let it come upon God's servant let it come upon all who walk with him in the name of Jesus Christ please hear me for all who have given for this program financially in terms of prayer I got to understand that there was a prayer team that was put up specifically for am I right on that men who kept praying you didn't just come people prayed that God will clear the atmosphere for you to come the Bible says a worker is deserving of his wages we pray in the name of Jesus for everyone who is part of the prayer team and the workforce here of ABM may the God of heaven who is the rewarder of men reward you speedily in the name of Jesus let me declare that everyone who is here present 
you will not be absent by next year's program we have two more months to the end of the year this is where the waster is unleashed over destinies there is a spirit called the waster you will just hear that someone shouted my head my head and just died let me speak over your life if there is any plague of death over you to say you will not finish this year with honor and with dignity i command death to pass over you now death passes over you now and in the name of jesus as part of our spiritual and corporate responsibility we lend our voice in this conference to pray over the future of nigeria we decree and declare father arise over this nation february is the election we have just a few months in the name of jesus we decree and declare every darkness to tie down this nation and put it under siege we stand as priests upon the watchtower and we declare the purposes of god for nigeria must be established in the name of jesus finally let me pray a fire I have learned that you do not have anything valuable if the spiritual substance that makes up your life is low or not there. No matter what else you have, if you lose touch with spiritual reality, you have lost touch with everything. Therefore, I pray for you from the depth of my heart. Your hunger for God, your hunger for the things of God, your hunger for the place of the altar, your hunger for the word of God, your hunger for consecration and walking in uprightness and holiness and righteousness. May that great. You will be a believer in word, you will be a believer in deed, you will be a believer in lifestyle, you will be a believer in character. And for your family members that you left wherever you left to come here in the name of Jesus because you are here on this ground we send angels on assignment by the word of the Lord to bring to pass that which is needed in their, in their lives in this season in the name of Jesus Christ Pastor Shola thank you so very much Pastor Shegu thank you Abel Kuta thank you for receiving our ministry the Lord bless you. He has seen, no ear has heard what God has prepared for me. So I submit to your work in me till Christ be formed in me. No eye has seen, nor ear has heard what God has prepared for me. So I submit to your work in me till Christ is formed in me. No eye has seen, nor ear has heard what God has prepared for me. So I submit to your work in me till Christ be formed in me till Christ be formed in me your wisdom revealed through me that your glory rests on me till your work be formed in me so I submit to your work in me till Christ be formed in me listen more than looking like an apostle if all you do is to look like an apostle you didn't do much if all you do is to look like a prophet you didn't do much if all you do is to look like a businessman you didn't do much the standard is looking on to Jesus until Christ that when people look at you you become the clearest description of the Christ in every way in character in the outworkings of his wisdom the outworkings of his power the effulgence of his glory upon you now you become a living epistle 
like the Bible says we are going to pray two prayers let it be from the depth of your heart father I'm tired of my current spiritual level take me to a deeper level I'm tired of celebrating this level and this realm is someone praying no matter what level and what dimension congratulations for where you have found yourself congratulations for the prophetic the word is already beginning to work in your life congratulations you now have a church congratulations you've now been ordained into ministry but listen to me ladies and gentlemen there are higher realms job said there is a path which no fowl has seen the whelps of the lion has not even trodden there i want you to open your mouth and pray from the depth of your heart greater dimensions greater level of trust of your power your grace your wisdom higher levels of authority and dominion in the spirit someone is praying purge my heart oh god purge my motives purge my motivation reorder my perception correct my ideas no matter how long you have held on to age old wrong ideas lift your voice and pray correct my ideas and my perceptions hallelujah last prayer point and I saw before the throne a lamb as though it had been slain having seven eyes and seven horns seven dimensions of revelations that control the seven levels of authority that God has earmarked for the believer there is no man I know on earth who has accessed all seven the only person that has, has accessed all seven is Jesus Christ himself that I know that's why Paul said though I speak with tongues of men and of angels he began to describe dimensions we have not even come close to Paul himself he tried and tried to get to that level but even him he was limited but the Bible says listen very carefully that there is a body of knowledge that has been preserved for a generation it says you are a chosen generation and a royal priesthood a peculiar people and what makes you peculiar is that you have access to this body of truth the Bible calls marvelous light marvelous light light above and beyond even the generations past not because we are pressing more than them God has so chosen by his predeterminate counsel to grant us access to the eyes of the spirit we are going to pray lord the level of revelation and illumination that controls the next phase of my spiritual experience grant me access to it go ahead and pray grant me access to it by the spirit please pray please pray pray for the sake of your church pray for the sake of your assignment pray for the sake of those who are under you the level of spiritual illumination the level of light and wisdom that controls the various faces of authority that I must access in order to administer the purposes of God I obtain grace hallelujah hallelujah the three levels that we see that God desires for every man to enter was captured in the temptation of Jesus the devil came and tempted Jesus across three things temptation number one turn this stone to bread the temptation that makes for your personal sufficiency things Lord give me a car give me a house there is a place for that Jesus overcame that temptation not by having them he overcame that temptation by rising above them you don't conquer things just by having it you conquer things by rising above it if you have it and you rise above it 
it's a better expression of that victory but even if you don't have it and god grants you grace to rise above it you conquer it he said it is written man shall not live by bread alone when you speak to a hungry man he's not thinking of a temple and he's not thinking of this i'm trying to show you these three levels man shall not live by bread alone satan said i understand the next phase he took him to a holy temple a spiritual place because the spirit controls the physical and he said bow down fall down he will put his angels charge over you you see that now that is the second level spirituality because when you have high level spirituality you can administer the word of god and minister to people but the side effect is pride pride carelessness complacency but the third temptation was not over things was not over people it was over territories the bible says he took him to an exceeding high mountain is that in your bible and showed him the glories of the world and said all this has been given to me he was giving him the things that he was going to get by dying and resurrecting but the only challenge is if jesus collected it he will have it alone jesus didn't have it alone after all everything was his own the reason why he rejected that temptation was he did not want to rise alone he had you in mind so he relinquished what he had and came and went with you in covenant hallelujah there are many good things you need to deny now because having them will only keep you alone and when a corn of wheat abides alone it dies and does not become anything it is that process of death that gives you the multiplier factor in your life for some of you god is going to trust you with things by meeting your needs in this conference he's not careless your house rent your whatever it is tired of finance a job but if you get it and just give testimony praise the lord this god is good oh right now i have a job that is the least level of seeing the grace of god and walking with god the next level is to ascend spiritually where god can trust you over nations to mentor people with his precepts and to guide their spiritual understanding jeremiah 3 15 and i will give you pastors or shepherds according to my heart that they will feed you with wisdom and with understanding but the highest level is where god gives you authority and trust over his program that means there is something i'm doing in abel kuta man of god raise me five prophets 10 evangelists 15 kingdom financiers this is my program and you can say lord count on me give me three years you have mastered the art of things people now you can stay in god's program the bible says and david served his own generation father we thank you for all of the speakers who brought your word from the throne of grace from early this morning even up till now thank you for their lives their sacrifices and the wisdom that has proceeded from their work with you thank you for that which you have taught us right now even by your spirit lord i am praying that beyond the words of a man your spirit will begin to mold within us the character that reflects christ in truth i pray for you in the name of jesus that every level that you are may god himself measure a thousand cubits and take you higher by light that everything that has swallowed your passion for spiritual things your passion for light your passion for illumination either pride complacency carelessness arrival mentality i erode those distractions out of your life in the name of jesus christ and i plant in you a fresh hunger as though you never knew him before in the name of jesus christ i also prophesy over your life that the prophecy connected to your life for this generation will not be aborted in the name of jesus christ a final word your mouth and begin to pray in the spirit everywhere <laughs> Someone pray. Shade kete bele kete braska de bala kusha braska de bele nush. Shade braka ta bala kata franda skata bele kato. Make sure you are praying. E branda skali ka para kasho braka ta bala ta bala kato sabre de kete bus. 
Go ahead and pray, go ahead and pray, go ahead and pray. Shaleke paruska de brande ke bele kusha la kata pradas kada balada ba. Shabranda kabarata kapras kade bele ke te pras kade balatu siata. Embra kata pras kade bele ke te pras kade balako shada balada ba. Shande brake te balatu kade pras kote balatu siata. Hallelujah. Say after me loud and clear. Say, Father, tonight, let your light come upon my destiny. Tonight, let your light come upon my destiny. Go ahead and pray. Let your light drive away every darkness. Let your light take away every confusion. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We are still praying. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask for a supply of the spirit of revelation. Let it fall upon me right now. Go ahead and pray. Open your mouth and pray. The supply of the spirit of revelation. Take a parus, Kadibala, Shabra, Negebeleko, Siata. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same. Adonai From the rising of the sun To the setting of the same Your name is to be hallowed Adonai From the rising of the sun the setting of the same, your name is to be hallowed. One more time. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, your name. Let me stand upon the grace that is on our Father in the Lord and upon that grace let me prophesy to someone already that in the name of, that is above all names after this conference the Lord will, you, will release you like a trophy to your world after this conference the Lord will release you like a trophy to your world in the mighty name of Jesus Christ for someone else they have said about you like they said about Jesus can anything good come out of Nazareth let me prophesy to you in the name of Jesus I call upon the God who is the lifter of men may he lift you and make you to be a wonder to your world in the mighty name of Jesus Christ hallelujah sponsoring myself 
can I still make a life of glory and grace I am the only one who has risen in my family I sing this to you as a final song of comfort there is hope for a tree even if it be cut short in the name of Jesus Christ will you hold on through the storm will you hold on to his word your life will soon reveal he's the lifter of men the lifter of men he's a lifter of men the lifter of men in the name of jesus i stand upon the grace that is on our father and our mother and i speak to someone's life in the mighty name of jesus who is the son of the living god i declare over your destiny arise and shine 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 our ccg youths arise and shine arise and shine arise and shine in the name of jesus christ i declare over you no weapon fashion against your destiny will prosper and every tongue that rises up against you let it fall in judgment in the name of jesus christ may the lord bless you may the lord increase you you will go from glory to glory in the name of jesus thank you very much and god bless you let us go into the house of the lord lord we bless you lord we bless you lord we bless you for your mercies for your faithfulness for your goodness the psalmist said oh that men will praise the lord oh that men will praise the lord jesus we bless you we honor you for the power of your word for your mercy for your grace it is of the lord's mercy that we are not consumed now ask him to give you an encounter tonight by his word god is ever ready to transform our lives for as long as our hearts are open to receive is someone praying following online following by way of television within the auditorium cry for an encounter tonight the Bible says, for everyone that asketh, receiveth. That you show us mercy tonight by your spirit. For in Jesus mighty name we pray for in Jesus mighty name we pray Amen. spirit of the living God you were sent to us by Jesus to equip us to mature us even in the things of the spirit we gather week in and week out because we love you and then because we desire wisdom the Bible calls you the spirit of wisdom you are the one who can open up our understanding. There's limitation in your life, bar. We must crush it to its knees. I'm about to pray now. And I want you to please bring those people under the anointing now. That the power of God comes upon. In the name of Jesus, every family, every individual, every destiny that has been tied down by altars of limitation. 
so that you will not move forward maybe you are a mother maybe you are a father maybe you are a man of god maybe you are a businessman maybe you are coming here for the first time watching online and it looks like there are altars that have vowed that you will not move forward i stand by this mantle i have been anointed by god to declare your liberty right now may the power of god come upon you be delivered now be delivered now altars of limitation you come under arrest this moment altars of limitation you come under arrest this moment altars of limitation you come under arrest this moment in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ please hear me some of you are standing not only for yourself i want to pray for families here whole families that have been tied down it looks every altar sitting on the sitting on the glory of any family if i be sent by god i stand by this apostolic and prophetic mantle may fire fall upon that altar now May fire fall upon that altar. Release them now. Release their destinies now. Release their destinies now. Open your mouth in one minute and begin to declare. I declare my release. Every limitation, no matter how long, in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant. Is someone praying? Those following online, I release that anointing upon you from America to Europe to Nigeria, parts of Africa. I declare, may the anointing of the Spirit touch you right in your room, in your office, right now. I set you free. Yokes of limitation, be delivered now. Every chain, that has tied your hand and tied your feet hold on please listen we are still praying in Acts chapter 12 watch this now when Peter was in the prison they tied two parts of his body number one his hands that's a symbol of your productivity number two your feet that is the symbol of your advancement. They didn't tie his mouth. They didn't tie his eyes. But they tied his hand and his feet. And the Bible says they bound him. That means to bind a man. It is not every part of him you need to tie. If you can tie his productivity and tie the basis for his advancement, that man is bound. Let me release someone by the anointing of the Spirit. I declare your hands spiritually. My God, fire is coming on people's hands now. These hands that have not been released. Maybe your father's hand was tied and all through his lifetime, he lived a miserable life. Maybe your mother's hand was tied. Some of you, the hands of your siblings, I come holding the key of David, given by the God of heaven himself. In the name of Jesus, may those chains be loose from your hands. Loose from your feet. Loose from your hands. Loose from your feet. Loose from your hands. Shapakatoskata. Loose from your feet. Man of God, I release you. It's time for your ministry to open up. I release you. Apostle, prophet, teacher, makatosh keteketa. Every altar sitting on your ministry. Every altar sitting on your ministry. Be released now.
when Jesus was buried it was not just enough that he was put in a tomb the Bible said a stone was used to cover that place so when Jesus resurrected it was not just enough to come out to rise from the dead that stone needed to be rolled away so he would come out same thing happened with Lazarus let me roll away any stone when it was time for Lazarus to come back to life ay, ay, ay. let me speak to someone everything dead in your life hear the word of the Lord come alive come alive come alive every mantle every door of favor every opportunity that has been closed over your destiny everything that has died hear the word of the Lord your influence your relevance come back to life now come back to life now he says son of man can these bones live again he said only thou knowest he said prophesy I want to prophesy Oh, bones can come back to life. Dead businesses can come back to life. Dead spiritual dimensions. You used to have dreams, prophetic encounters. You used to pray for hours. But now something has happened to your life. May that fire come upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. Hear me. When there is an attack in your life, there are three things that you will lose. Number one, the first thing that you will lose to tell you that the devil is attacking your life is your peace. The second thing that you will lose when the devil is attacking your life is the gift of man. If you lose money it was not an attack it can just be a business mistake but when you lose men I assure you it's an attack hmm. hallelujah look at this every point in the life of Jesus men and angels came to attend to him but when he was on his way to go to the cross men ran away from him only one man out of the multitudes of people he had helped to build and raise and do all of this one walked with him and held the cross for him aside from John and his mother at the cross so when you begin to lose your peace number two when you begin to lose the gift of man it is an attack from the pit of hell hallelujah the third thing that you will know as a sign that is an attack is passion passion for the things of God passion for your destiny passion for actualizing your goals nothing matters again your fight the Bible says the zeal of the Lord will perform this there is something called the zeal of the Lord when you lose your peace when you lose men when you lose passion, know immediately that there is an attack. I want to declare these three things over your life before we sit down. Number one, the Bible says, now the Lord of peace himself will give you peace always and by all means. I want to prophesy that by all means dimension of peace. That means whatever it takes for your peace, in the name of Jesus, may God make it so in your life. By all means order of peace enjoy it in the name of Jesus number two there are some of you who have jobs but you do not have men some of you have intellect you don't have men some of you have churches but you do not have men men are very important men are in many cases a sign that God is with you 
I have taught you that the proof of favor is not money. The proof of favor is access to the hearts of men. In the name of Jesus Christ, I call to your life the ministry of men. I call to your life the ministry of men. Enjoy the ministry of men. Enjoy divine connectors. Enjoy men of influence. Enjoy gifted men. Enjoy burden bearers. In the name of Jesus Christ. Finally, before you sit, let me pray for your passion. Some of you, your dreams have died because you are no longer serious about it. Everything you said you would do this year, the zeal, some of you even for ministry, you may be men and women of God, but sincerely, that zeal again, the zeal to fast, gone. Zeal for God, gone. Zeal for your goals, gone. The resilience to push towards your destiny is gone. Right now, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I'm speaking as a prophetic word for someone. Let your zeal be restored. Let your zeal be restored. Your zeal for the house of God. Your zeal for the things of God. Your zeal for the pursuit of your destiny. Be restored in the name of Jesus. Please open your mouth in one minute and receive. I declare that I receive in the name of Jesus. For those in front, I decree and declare the hand of God rests upon you. That which you have been delivered from will never return to you again. You walk in the liberty that is in Christ. Go and return with your testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pray, let it be from the depth of your heart. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Are you praying? Don't be tired. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now I want you to listen. I'm going to give a prophetic word to someone. And when I give this prophetic word, it's not a song. It's coming as spirit and life. For someone it's a continuation of something God began to talk to you about. Hallelujah. This is a song that God gave me many years ago but I've not been allowed to sing it while I was praying in addition to this I heard that song again and I knew that it was a prophetic word I'm not a musician my own is to scatter the gates of hell and establish the purposes of God whether it's by singing whether it's by preaching all that is are we together Yakare Yakare Ya kare Yesu ya che ya kare Listen Ya kare Ya kare Ya kare Yesu ya che ya kare Ya kare Ya kare Ya kare Yesu ya che ya kare It's a prophetic word. Help them, please. This is part of my teaching. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I've returned back. This is my assignment. Yakare means it is over. Yakare means it is finished. When Jesus hung upon the cross, he said it is finished. Take it high for me, please. In the name of Jesus, you came to church. It's, it's a song that God put in my spirit. It's not a special number. I'm speaking to your spirit, man. Ya kare Ya kare Ya kare Yesu ya che ya 
no matter the limitation. Yes, we are Kare. It's over. Yes, we are Kare. Surely there is an end. Dear man of God, dear businessman. Yes, we are Kare. Yes, we are Kare. Yakare, 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 Yesu Yache, Yakare. Listen, you see, an apostolic and a prophetic ministry is a deeply spiritual ministry that operates very strongly by the gift of discernment. Let me tell you, if this is all the service today and we suspend the teaching and do this, it is still a successful service. Are we together now? For some of you, this night, you go back home to sleep, you will hear this song again. It doesn't matter whether you can speak outside or not, but this time around, you will not be the one singing it. You will hear it from the bowels of your spirit. Surely there is an end. Surely there is an end. Oh, someone hear me. It looks like ministry is not opening up. Surely there is an end. Everything that has a beginning has an end. That sickness will not kill you. I assure you. Has an end. HIV has an end. Fibroid has an end. Disappointment has an end. Ya kare, ya kare, ya kare, Yesu ya che ya kare, ya kare. Ya kare, ya kare, ya kare, in your life, ya kare, the negative seasons, ya kare, ya kare, Hallelujah. Please play the strings for me. See, the Bible says, do not be drunk with wine, wherein is excess. It says, but be ye filled with the Spirit. And among the many signs that you are full of the Spirit is that you will begin to speak to yourself in Psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Spiritual songs are not special numbers. You must know how to align your spirit. There are times that God will give you a song. That song carries an anointing. Once the anointing comes on you, the song fades. You will not even remember it again. That song was not a special number. It was a ladder to usher you into a realm. Please don't be distracted. God is doing something tonight. For some of you, God is responding to the prayer you prayed yesterday. The prayer you prayed last week. Some of you, you have been on fasting and prayers, asking questions. God said, go to church. He said, when I came to the house of God, then understood I. 
We are going to sing this song one more time. Whether you can sing it or not, you just listen. It's not a special number. It's a prophetic decree to the heavens. Oh, it has come to end. When God says it is over, it means it is over. When God says it is over, it means it is over. You will sing it over your finances. You will sing it over your health condition. Listen, he said, I will call upon the Lord who is worthy of praise. So shall I be saved from my enemies. There are songs in the spirit called songs of deliverance. Are you ready? Yakare, 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 Yesu Yeche, Yakare, 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 Yesu Yeche, Yakare. It matters who is speaking. Yes, we are carry. Jesus is more than a prophet. Yes, we are carry. The owner of the heavens and the earth. When he speaks, it is final. When he says you are lifted, you are lifted. When he says you are blessed, you are blessed. Yes, we are carry. In your life. Yes, we are chain carry. Yes, we are chain carry. Me give my chain carry. Serki a chain carry. Ya carry. Ya carry. Yes, we are chain carry. Ya kare, ya kare. For a barren woman, this is your song. Yesu ya che ya kare. It's over. Yesu ya che ya kare. Over that unemployment. Yesu ya che ya kare. Listen, God is called Alpha and he's called Omega. The Bible calls him the beginning. It also calls him the end. When you watch a movie, the movie begins with all kinds of motion pictures. Then they say starring. They will list all the people. When you get to the end of the movie, you don't just know it because maybe the enemies are defeated. You see it written, the end. That means stop watching, it is over. All through my church tonight, please let this song be ringing in your spirit. This is a song that God has given someone for the season. Carry it to your room, war with it sing with it you are not a musician wake up in the night sing with it mention all the things that must be over because he spoke it yes we are 
The Bible says when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. This song is a revelation. I'm praying that it will enter your spirit. Yes, we are chair carrying. Serki a chair carrying. Megirma a chair carrying. Yes, we are chair carrying. Ya carry, ya carry. Ya carry, so ya chain, ya carry. Ya carry, ya carry. Ya carry, so ya chain, ya carry. Ya carry, ya carry. Ya carry, so ya chain. You will not always be barren. One day they are about to rejoice with you because the giver of children. In the name of Jesus, Gideon, you will not always be hiding. A day will come you will be the captain of a mighty army. David, you will not always be in the wilderness. There is an anointing looking for you from a prophet. Saul, your donkey will not be missing forever. One day it will be found and with gallancy and honor it will return back home. Jesus, you will not only remain in the grave always, no. After three days you will come back again and then be seated on the throne with honor. Yes, we are carry. Yes, we are Man of God, hear this. This is a word for you. You may cry, but hear the word of the Lord. Mercy. God put it in my heart to bring this teaching. The reality of supernatural exemption. You can be exempted from death. You can be exempted from famine. You can be exempted from the ills that destroy men. That is what makes you a savior. You cannot help people being a victim of what they are suffering. You have to be outside of that system of pain to be able to help them. There are some of you here, please hear me. God brought you to church to hear this because your family members may not be able to hear it, but you are the one God is raising. Don't let your family members die in ignorance. If he has found you, let it be that he, your family has found hope. Are we together now? Some of you, by reason of what you are hearing in church today, there is a U-turn that you need to make because the way you are going already. For some of you, you need to stop what you are doing now and for the next one week, submit to prayer and verify many things with God. This business I'm about to do, I'm about to commit 50 million in partnership. I just saw the opportunity, but I have not yet prayed. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, everything. How many things? By prayer and supplication, you need to wake up and burn the midnight candle. And don't keep quiet until he speaks. When people are snoring away their destinies, snoring away the next five or ten years, you are awake praying. You are a man of God and you want your ministry to blaze. It is not with laziness. Brothers and sisters, don't just copy things because people are doing it. Mante prakatos kate bakata. Shake praskata. Deliver unto me, O God, the secrets that govern.
given the mantle upon my life reveal to me how does it operate if you are David you must understand the mystery of psalmistry otherwise the grace on your life will not speak if you are Elijah you must understand the mystery of the altar that is what activates your anointing if you are Abraham you must understand sacrifice that is the mystery that activates the anointing on your life every mantle has its activation system you must learn it in the place of prayer hallelujah Lord what is the secret that brings partners to my ministry or my vision what is the secret that draws members to come don't just copy things blindly and say this is how we are doing it no and thou shalt hear a voice from behind for some of you listen you go to the place of prayer and God says it's time for your business to expand the reason why you are small is because you have limited yourself you should be in Europe now and America and a sudden grace and the spirit of faith will rest upon you and you will start flying like the eagle there are some of you your season of training has come to an end but because you have not discerned you are still there locking yourself in the room whereas the people you are sent to have been waiting dying of thirst because there is no discernment there are many of you hear me God brought you for this koinonia service because there is a unique anointing that must come upon your life God is preparing you he has sent you to many places you are carrying the anointing combinations that you need for your ministry there are some of you you are great people of prayer but you are bankrupt of the spirit of revelation and God sent you here because that dimension is what he needs to supply so that you will have a balanced ministry there are some of you you are excellent teachers of the word but your prayer life is extremely poor God has sent you so that you will find that dimension when you come to church learn to discern Lord what are you saying to me for some of you by this teaching God is already telling you that the evil you have been seeing in your dreams and all of that if you understand prayer you can roll it over and throw it away like a toy I know we've taken some time I will not stretch you more than this but in the next two minutes I want you to pray deliver us from evil he said lead us not into temptation someone is about to pray I obtain grace to walk circumspect as wise and not as unwise redeeming the time for the Bible says the days are evil someone pray pray your exemption I'm exempted, exempted from evil, exempted from losses, exempted from tragedy. In the name of Jesus Christ, is someone praying, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I have an ear that hears and an eye that sees. Someone decree and declare my path is as a shining light it shines ever brighter even unto the perfect day there's no retrogression in my life in the name of jesus christ those in your home make sure you are praying Discernment, discernment, passion for God, passion for God, passion for God. Lord, restore my fire, restore my hunger, restore my passion, restore my appetite for spiritual things. Take away spiritual laziness, take away lukewarmness from my life. Let my fire not grow cold, not in this season, not in this time, not in this moment. Hunger, hunger, 
greater levels of prayer fire greater levels of the word greater levels of fasting greater levels of spending time in your presence i must build stamina and capacity the days that are coming will require men of stamina men of stamina men of stamina men of certainty not men of assumptions certainty hallelujah hallelujah you are going to pray for the grace to serve God with everything Lord any idol in my life that would not let me serve you acceptably clear it out of the way clear it out of the way lift your voice and pray not my resources not my energy not my pedigree anything that cannot serve you take it out of my life anything that will not serve you take it out of my life pray anything that will not serve you take it out of my life let a new season be open before me oh god let a new season be open before me oh god Declare the opening of a new season. Declare the opening of a new season in your ministry, in your life, in your family. Lord, I'm tired of the old. Open me up to a new season. New portals of grace, new portals of fire, profound levels of hunger. Hallelujah. I declare over your life anything that is assigned by hell to destroy you between now and December in whatever form whether to come directly or to come through the realm of the spirit manipulating your dreams and visions anything that has been sent by hell in the name of Jesus I cause it to its root now I cause it to its root now Hear me, whatever in your life has stopped growing because growth is a sign of life. Are we together now? I don't know what has stopped growing in your life. Maybe the anointing God has, God gave you is still at the level. Last year's anointing is still the same way. No new thing in your life. No. Revelation, the same level. Prayer life, the same level. You are not called into a system of just maintenance. You are called into a system of growth. Growth as a shining light. Whatever has stopped growing, by the power of the Holy Spirit, the Bible says at the scent of water, I decree and declare, may growth happen in that area of your life now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, please hear me. I'm praying again. If there is anybody here that in the realm of the spirit, among the list of those who are deceased, your name is already there, written already, or the name of your family members, I'm praying right now. I blot your name from the realm of the spirit. I blot your name from the realm of the spirit. Now hear me, there are people who may not die physically, but when everything in your life shuts down, you are dead, even if you are alive. I want to pray. If anyone here is a victim of witchcraft, foundations, and any ordinance, something has hijacked you, you know it. You look at your life and you know that your life is under a siege. In the name of Jesus Christ, be released from it now. Three more prayers. Please don't miss it. I want to pray for you. Whatever makes evil look like good, and then good look like evil, confusing you, 
and destroying you. Many of you have gotten into trouble today because you called evil good and you walked into trouble. I pray for you right now with precision and clarity. May your hearing and seeing be corrected. Be corrected, be corrected, be corrected. Your hearing and your seeing, let it be corrected in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now let me pray against losses. Whether losses of money, losses of opportunities. There are many of you, nothing good stays consistently. Do you know the ability to retain is proof of strength in the spirit? It says strong men retain wealth. It's not just talking about money alone. When God gives you things and it does not stay, it's his wickedness. The devil has punctured holes around people's lives and any good thing just evaporates. I want to pray for you. The spirit that makes you to lose good things, good people, good opportunities, good relationships, I command that spirit to leave your destiny now. Leave your destiny now. Finally, let me prophesy over your life. Beginning from now till the end, December 2022, I want to pray for you. I want you to receive this as a prophetic word. In the name of Jesus, by God who has called me, I prophesy to you, whatever you are a victim of now, either because of the mistakes of lack of discernment, anything you have suffered, anything that has left your life, opportunities you would have enjoyed, but simply because you did not hear and see, and some of you are saying, is it too late to have it back? By the power of the Holy Spirit and the power of the prophetic, I reach forth into the past and I bring it back to your future. I bring it back as restoration in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. And every hand that has collected what is your own. every hand that has collected what is your own you are there standing but it has never arrived because another hand has collected it in the name of jesus by the fire of the holy ghost i release it to enter your hand now <laughs> hallelujah a wrong hand collected the blessing of Esau and Isaac said this smell is of Esau but the hand is of Jacob and the smell is of someone else but the hand collecting it is of someone else again I'm praying one last time tonight Koinonia any hand that has collected what is your own in the name of Jesus I stand by the power of prophecy I overturn that hand and I force it to release it to you. Listen, some of you by next week you will come here with fearful testimonies of things that just turn around for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, meaning for you becomes a week of strange testimonies. In the name of Jesus. In the spirit of what God is doing, especially in this season, I decree and declare that this week for you, let it become a week of strange prophetic encounters in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. And I declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, that anything that represents a source of pain and an interruption to your Christian experience, it falls down and lets you go free now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that you are blessed. I declare that you are lifted. I declare that your hunger for spiritual things is growing. In the name of Jesus, 
your life will be a representation of the power the character the grace and the wisdom of the spirit receive it in the name of jesus may the lord bless you in jesus mighty name your voice to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Lion of the tribe of Judah. We bless your name. We bless your name. We bless your name. We extol your name. From everlasting to everlasting, you are God one generation will declare your praise to another. The keeper of Israel, the breath of life. Someone worshiping him, just pour out your hearts to him in worship. We worship you. Let the nations know that you are the Savior. You are the Lifter. You are Restorer. You are the one who empowers. You are the one who opens doors. Thank you, Jesus. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Shalabasiada. Holy, holy, holy. Say holy, 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 and the people say.
to him who sits upon the throne and even to the Lamb be blessing, be honor, be glory, be power forever. Be blessing, be honor, be glory, be power forever. We bless you. Just open up yourself to the atmosphere of the spirit. In this kind of atmosphere, everything is possible. The healing, the lifting, the impartation, the vision, supernatural encounters of the spirit. Oh, in your presence, every burden leaves. In your presence, wisdom comes. In your presence, we ascend to dimensions in the spirit. We bless you, Majesty. We worship you. Ashapando Scalipa Roskatiata. We bless you. Just press for a few minutes. This is Koinonia. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. And the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. That it abide with us now and forevermore. King of kings, Lord of lords. Faithful and true, Lamb of God, we worship you. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, we worship you. You're the King of kings, Lord of lords. church will see your holy face Emmanuel when you come again hello Madonna. worship you the only one who is able to change us please press for a few minutes in his presence there is transformation you are drinking of the river of life bringing you healing bringing you strength bringing you stamina in the spirit driving away everything that does not flow from his throne he said there is a stream there is a river that flows from that throne. 
Sapra kate balaga para katos kate belaga de badia. Sapra ske berendos koto praske la parusia ta. Sakre te kate berendos solo koto praske de balaga dusia. Sapra ta kata para kata prate ke berake te ka para dosh. Embra ta ske te belake paro doshodia. Sade ke te belake te praske ta para ta ske para katos. Meke pas sopro tos kotu papa sopra digetea. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. For in your presence there is life everlasting. I will reverence you, Lord. Oh, drink of that river. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. For in your presence, for in your presence, there is life everlasting. I will. And I will not forget, Lord, your benefits. I will not forget, Lord, your benefits. How can I forget, Lord, your benefits? I will never forget. I will not forget, Lord. Your benefit, I will never forget. I will not forget, Lord. I bless your holy name. I sing your praises forever and forget not your benefit. Father, we bless you. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for Jesus. We thank you for your wisdom. Thank you for your power, for your presence in this place. There are things that only happen in your presence. Thank you for the gift of your presence. Thank you for the power of your word. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We are investing in the spirit. For the Bible says, He that sows into the flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. Many of you are receiving impartations, even in this atmosphere. That glory is just resting upon you. That Shekinah coming upon you like the dew upon Hammon. Just let it rest upon your spirit. We are changed in his presence. There are things that die in his presence attitudes that just die in his presence wrong attitudes the flesh just dies in his presence we know the value of your presence oh god and when you trust us with your presence we are grateful thank you jesus Let us be changed, even by your presence. Tonight, O oh God, we are here again to listen. We are here again to receive. We are here again to accent 
deeper realms dimensions in the spirit spirit of grace we pray malish kal shala sopraskia ea shalea sabra hasia tala ho shabe kasubia kladi mahazia na shala kos e badakushia krendi gibalakusia ta proskiata i'm opening your eyes say the spirit of the lord i'm opening your eyes that you will see i'm opening your eyes that you will see your power is in your sight i am opening your eyes that you will see i am opening your eyes that you will see i am opening your eyes that you will see your power is in your sight sheka shola sabash ki anda ka sodokra side hene bakaruzia efal shabala zeante salakusia tabra akusia holy thou art holy there is none like you in your presence that is where i must be we cry holy thou art holy there is none like in your presence that is where i must be for in the mighty precious glorious and majestic name of jesus we worship In the name of Jesus, we worship. Amen. Hallelujah. Ask him for an encounter tonight. Give me an encounter even by your spirit. Is someone praying? Salibrandi kipalakusiata. Talk to Jesus. Don't look around. Give me an encounter. Sabra tigi balakusi adaba. Sapa sabrandeski atalokusi brahaski. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you know why many people are not changed in the presence of the Lord? many reasons but you see most people have not learned the value of the presence of god the value of the presence of god he says be still and you will know you see when god comes manifesting his presence like this there are many things that happen in these kinds of atmosphere there are requests that you may have been praying for for a long time and that presence just comes with strange answers for some of you while we are singing it's not the song you are hearing the singing only open your ears so that you will hear what god is saying and with precision god will begin to guide you for some of you you are here and you are you are already exhausted in your spiritual experience there is no strength there is no capacity there is no stamina and when the word of the lord comes even in worship strength 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 is a surging of his strength this is not just an impartation of power alone there are many things that happen for some of you in his presence while you just soak and you worship there are battles that you are not even aware of the mighty one even the jealous one will arise from the place of worship and command strange victories for you did miriam not sing i will sing unto the lord for he has triumphed gloriously the horses and its riders 
has been thrown into the sea. I will sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horses and its riders have been thrown into the sea. As you sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horses and its riders will be thrown into the sea. This is a prophetic word for someone. Hey. As you sing unto the Lord. Uh -huh. For he has triumphed gloriously. The horses and its riders will be thrown into the sea. Blessed be your name forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Before we sit, I want you to receive three prophetic blessings that the Lord put in my spirit. Number one is a prophetic word for open heavens. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray over someone. Let me tell you the implication of an open heavens. When the heavens of a man is closed, it takes an open heaven for rain to come. It takes an open heaven for things to walk. In the name of Jesus, every force that has closed the heavens over you, even as instructed by the Spirit of God, man take up Arukas Kodiata. Help them, please. I decree and declare your heavens open now. Koinonia, your heaven opens now. Number one, number two, the Lord put in my spirit to declare, I want you to please listen very carefully, that everything that has been prophesied and has been released but has not found visible expression. Please receive this one in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God I decree and declare between now and the end of this year 2022 I command strange manifestations visible help them please visible manifestations visible manifestations Visible manifestation. When, when Gabriel came to Zechariah and brought a prophetic word, Zechariah doubted Gabriel and he said, I am Gabriel that standeth in the presence of God. You will be surprised at what will happen to you by this word. Let me say the second prophetic word again. Whatever has been hanging in the realm of the spirit and by divination, manipulations of darkness has refused to manifest. I pull it by the power of prophecy. Let it find expression in this realm. Help them please. I pull it from the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This morning I had a dream. And I had a very strange dream. I saw someone, watch this now. I saw people joining a queue. And entering doors. The same door. But the moment someone enters, it closes. The next person who is coming must have his own key. And I saw some people standing in front of the door. They had keys. 
but the door was not opening and then like a man who stood like a guard man will come with what looks like a master key and help them open the door and they will pass this is the third prophetic word based on that dream the lord showed me some of you may not have the keys now but there are carpenters who have been sent by god as objects of mercy every door that you have been struggling to open in the name of jesus and by the god who sent me i declare that door open now that door open now that door opens now listen for some of you while you are in koinonia here the physical manifestation of that open door will appear right before the service is done i am gabriel he says that standest in the presence of god The most important thing is that the key that opens the door gets into the door. Even if you are not the one holding it, let mercy ensure that the door is open. For in Jesus lost, lost this business, in the name of Jesus, I refuse to be sad. I refuse to walk in despair. You set that atmosphere. Some of you, my dear people, all this worship that you are playing here, don't just do it for Koinonia alone. I've taught you this. One hour, imagine, if they do something like that, wouldn't you patronize them? One hour of soaking worship, volume one. Are we together? I, I'm not saying, this, this, is not, this is not some, I'm serious with what I'm saying program that atmosphere imagine that you just wake up from sleep and you are just stretching and all you hear is amen 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 hey amen 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 for stretching and you move to the other side of the bed the dream continues in that dream you are scattering the gates of hell empowered by the strength of the word within you you get up with the keys like Jesus got up from the keys as soon as you wake up from that dream who is this king of glory the Lord strong and mighty the Lord mighty in battle One more time. Amen. Pair yourselves into three if you can. We are going to spend the remaining just three, three. If there's nobody there, just make it two or whatever. But please, we are going to pray. Help them under the anointing. We are going to pray. Just two, three minutes. You are going to begin to pray in the spirit. Find any hand you find there. And begin to pray and make declarations. Over the person's hand you are holding. In the name of Jesus. I declare, I come as a prophetic rainmaker. Come on, Koinonia. Following from your home. Hold the hands of your children if you can. Hold the hand of your wife, your husband. Hold the hand of your neighbor, whoever you find. Touch and agree by faith. 
Go ahead and begin to pray. Psalms, hymns, spiritual songs. Declare it by the Spirit. Psalms, hymns, spiritual songs. I command restoration in the name of Jesus. The deliverer is showing up for you. Koinonia pray. Koinonia global pray. America pray. Europe pray. Africa pray. I am a prophetic rainmaker. I program the spiritual climate of my brother and my sister. No more losses. No more failure. In the name of Jesus. Superior wisdom. Superior favor. Higher levels of power. Higher levels of grace. Strange breakthroughs by the Spirit. Pray. The anointing that is within me is finding expression in the name of Jesus. Man of God, pray and declare. It's a new season in ministry. It's a new season of exploits and impact for Jesus by the Spirit. The hand of God is upon me. Therefore, I speak in Psalms. I speak in hymns. I speak in spiritual songs, making melody in my heart even unto God. No failure in the name of Jesus. My path is as a shining light, shining ever brighter, even unto the perfect day. The Lord is my light and salvation. In the name of Jesus, I rise by revelation. The mighty hand of God is upon me. When men say there is a casting down, I declare by the Spirit that there is a lifting up. In the name of Jesus, the God of Jeshurun is arising for me by the power of the Holy Spirit. I am blessed in the city, blessed in the country. Koinonia is blessed, revealing Jesus, bringing him glory across the nations of the earth. declare pray over your brother I rebuke the plan of the devil over his life over her life in the name of Jesus perfect health perfect soundness you will not die before your time in the name of Jesus your relevance will not be cut short the spirit of the waster is far from you of nations the gates of territories are opening by the spirit in the name of Jesus the sick are healed oppressed delivered the confused find direction sinners come to Jesus pray for Nigeria declare over Nigeria Nigeria will not fall Nigeria will not be destroyed for the sake of the elect of God. No matter the schemings of darkness, the purposes of God over this nation, over Africa, and you who is watching by, uh, by television, pray for your nation. Mention the name of your nation. South Africa, Kenya, Ghana, Rwanda, Uganda, Central African Republic, Cameroon, declare by the Spirit, Cote d'Ivoire, Africa is engulfed with the fire of revival. Europe, America, Australia, Asia. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. This is how kings reign. This is how kings rule. This is how kings rise. For by your words you are condemned, and by your words you are justified. Hallelujah. I'm going to speak over your life now, then I'll do the altar call, and then we're done. This is already a pre-miracle service. Believe me, it's going to be fire next week in this place. This is, this is pre-miracle service. I want to speak over your life. No shadow you will light up, mountain you will climb up, coming after me. No world you won't kick down, Lie you won't tear down, coming after me. One more time. Shadow you will light up. Don't shadow you won't lie up. Mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. I have taught you tonight how kings reign. Every king you see who has taken his place of dominion and is manipulating the spiritual climate to reveal Jesus in his life has done it through the excellency of the speakings of the word of God. Now that you understand the power of words, let me speak over your life. You don't have to kneel or what. Let it just be that your heart is opened. Please believe. When Gabriel stood before Zechariah, he said, I am Gabriel that stands in the presence of God. That means the presence of God has purified me, purified every falsehood. You can trust what you hear. That's what he was saying. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stand as a prophetic rainmaker over someone's life. That drought in your life, in the name of Jesus, drought in your life, that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise. I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. For someone here, I prophesy to you, you will not see wind. You will not see rain even. But I declare by all means, may your valley be filled. May your valley be filled. Hear me. According to the law of time and chance, for some of you, certain things have gotten to your turn, but demon spirits made it jump over you. I stand by the prophetic. I take it back to your turn. I take a I take it back to your turn. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. If there is any negative programming that came either by mistake or by ignorance you didn't know and you kept speaking things now that the devil is using for some of you based on what you have said you are not even more than two years left to live because you kept cutting your years with your words I stand by the power of the prophetic and in the name of Jesus I cancel every word speaking against you I cancel every word speaking against you. For the Bible says, no weapon formed against you will prosper. And he said, every tongue that arises, please hear me. No matter who has said what against you, maybe growing up, maybe his parents, 
sincere people but what they have said is being used by the devil it has become a, a negative rain making process by the power of the prophetic I cancel it now where they said you will fall I prophesy stand where they said you will not rise I speak fly not only rise in the name of Jesus where they say you will not find helpers you will even have to choose who to help you where it has been programmed that you will lose your spiritual fire you will lose your relevance you will lose your bishopric you will lose your lampstand i prophesy 30 years from now if christ tarries you will still be standing final prophetic word anyone under the sound of my voice that this statement ichabod has been roaming around your head that means you are good for nothing that means the glory has departed that means everybody who sees you they should treat you like an outcast in the name of jesus i roll away that negative word i say it again for someone who has been trusting god for rain your plans have refused to grow prophetically because the rain has refused to come i stand tonight as a prophetic rainmaker and i say it again by the power of words because by these words the cloud is full of rain may your rain begin to fall those of you in ministry i announce to you this is your season of exploits no power in existence will downplay and demean the anointing upon your life those of you who are diplomats and captains of industry we clear the way for your relevance in the name of jesus those of you who are businessmen here and it looks like there is an embargo on your business you have tried but it looks like you are not rising if you believe this prophetic word i declare that between now and the end of october not november october in the name of jesus receive strange help from god and for everyone here who is in need of restoration between now and the miracle service may god do something that has not been done in your life since the beginning of this year <laughs> hallelujah wave your hands to jesus and give him praise wave your hands to jesus a wave offering is a mystery in the spirit thank you jesus we bless you we receive this by faith hallelujah two prayer points and I'll begin to minister within the time I have left. Tonight, God wants to shake away this thing. <laughs> Hallelujah. I was told a story of, I think it was the Billy Graham Institute, that because they wanted to preserve, they wanted to preserve the institute and some of the monuments, you know, just like Baba, Baba Deboye's, you know, former house and all of that, and that they had to bring engineers. They dug through the ground and they carried the building out from the foundation and relocated it to a, a, another region and put it down there. That's right. That's what is happening to somebody this night. Yeah. Hear me? You don't renovate foundations. Uh -uh. If it is not working, there is that spiritual bulldozer that can dig to the ground and carry you. Is it not in your Bible? That God can pick a man from a dunghill, is a location, and place him somewhere else. So what if I came from my region? Must I carry the cost that comes with that region? 
So what if my forefathers serve idols? Did the realm of the spirit not hear when I made my declarations of faith? Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Be ye lifted, ancient doors. Listen. I prayed this for myself. I prayed this for this ministry. And I said in my lifetime, I will see the glory of the Lord. And no power of darkness is going to cut short the manifestation of that glory. It does not matter what the devil wants. Listen, victory can be seen. You can know that the hand of God is upon your life. Hallelujah. Two prayer points. And when it's time to pray, please let me plead with you in Jesus' name. If you can, for the sake of this prayer, pair yourselves into three, like we did the last time. Just these three prayer points and fire will fall in. Find anybody. If you don't have a partner, that's all right. But we are going to pray. If your neighbor is not serious, please leave him alone. We are serious. This, this, is, this is a destiny altering moment. Shani Kaparakatosiata. Embrakate Katusiata. Say after me in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant. Right now, I declare every negative foundation. Every altar speaking against me by the blood of Jesus be destroyed now. Go ahead and pray. 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 my influence be destroyed fighting access be destroyed fighting advancement be destroyed in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus help those under the anointing Jeremiah chapter 1 from verse 9 my God fire is burning in this place then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth and he said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in your mouth. Read verse 10. And I give unto you an anointing that will set you this day over nations and over kingdoms to root out, to pull down, to destroy, to throw down, to build, and to plant. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, the anointing for this dimension of exploits I receive it now go ahead and pray the grace dominion over kingdoms over nations to pull down to destroy Take it, 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 take it,
In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in, in, just help those under the anointing. I'm about to minister deliverance now in the name of Jesus. Can I add one more prayer for you? Please don't be tired though. God is doing something in your life here. Say in the name of Jesus. The spirits of inheritance. The spirits of ancestry. By the blood of Jesus. Every legal access. You have. Over my life. My family. I declare. By the blood. Let it be broken now. Go ahead and pray. Broken now. Broken now. Broken now. Broken now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Broken now. Broken now. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Sabra kata pekata pekato skoto pas. Ekra tekata perekato skoto pros. Soto pos koto perekato. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Do you know what I'm seeing? The Lord is showing me a vision. And this is like the vision of a bride. You know how you say you may now, that thing you, you may now lose, uh, unveil the bride. That's what I'm seeing. That is a grace for visibility. We are going to pray. Are we together now? You know, when you watch a wedding ceremony, you now say you may now unveil the bride. That means it's time for manifestation. God is speaking to someone. Say in the name of Jesus. I declare my head, my hands, my destiny be lifted up. Find visibility. Go ahead and begin to pray. Be lifted up. Be lifted up. My head. No more downcast. Be lifted up. My influence. Find visibility. Man of God, pray. Pray. Businessman, pray. My head. A symbol of my glory. My hands. A symbol of my productivity. My destiny be lifted up. We shall get the prakatesh, we shall prakat the patosh, kapras katapakatosh, kola kras katapesh, krante barakatosh soto pros, ekra katapalaka tapras katipata. Hallelujah. 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 Now you have prayed. It's my turn to pray for you now. It will be a very quick walk, but I want your heart to be open. 
please when it's time to bring the people out whether you are an usher or not just help them very quickly because we need to do this very fast fire is burning in this place I want to pray I want you to believe this the first thing I'm hearing is to deliver those appointed unto death there are families here you may be walking but Satan is already programming something I'm about to pray the fire of God is going to fall on those individuals representing their families very quickly I want you to bring them out here father in the name of Jesus any family here having an altar or a foundation that wants to tie down their life tie down their relevance tie down their longevity by the power that raised Christ from the dead as you count Jesus at the shout of three in the name of Jesus it must give way are you ready my God one two three shout Jesus release them now release them now release them now release them now bring them out every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victor's crown you overcome you overcome every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victor's crown you number two there are families under an unusual yoke of hardship that yoke is about to be broken hear me hardship no matter what you do it is father suffering mother suffering I'm about to pray fire is falling now everyone under the sound everyone under the sound of my voice under this yoke at the count of three wherever you are inside and outside following from any nation of the world let that anointing rest and bring deliverance for you are you ready to shout jesus one two three shout jesus that yoke be broken be broken be broken be broken be broken be broken I'm seeing the number 11 fire is coming on their hands and the Lord is telling me the spirit that has tied down your productivity is about to give way 11 people bring them out right now I decree and declare I don't know where you are 11 of you let that fire come upon your hand right now Bring them out. Let it come upon your hand right now. Now I want to pray a very serious prayer. Please bring them out quickly. I want to pray a very serious prayer. Everyone's destiny here that has been exchanged. If you don't believe this, you are joking. You are joking if you don't believe this. That destinies can be exchanged that you find yourself living another man's life you know that this is not my life no everything that has exchanged your destiny by the power that raised Christ from the dead my God I'm seeing the anointing coming on people already there is a rearrangement that is happening in the realm of the spirit rearrangement of families the Bible says that the least shall be the greatest right now every destiny that has been exchanged be restored now 
Be restored now. Be restored now. Be restored now. Be restored now. Hallelujah. There will be no words to say. Go ahead and begin to declare by faith. Father, this is October. By November, I'm receiving every answer. Remember, the scripture that we read. When the glory comes, we no words to say. Quickly. All right. Give us Joshua 21 45. This is what is happening to you tonight. Joshua 21 45. Please. Dear fail not ought any of this thing. Give us amplified. Let's see if we can have amplified very quickly so we pray. I truly believe in the covenant of answered prayer. Dear fail no part of any good thing which the Lord had promised to the house of Israel. All came to pass all apostle including the job all including the termination of wicked contracts over your family all someone shout all, all. let the devil hear it all, all. for when his glory comes there be no words to say Oh, oh, oh. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands. We are still praying. Don't be tired. Your life is about to change. Those outside, make sure you are stretching your hands. Our global family, stretch your hands by faith. Yes, we are change. Yes, we are Cheya Kare. Me Girma Ya Cheya Kare. Serki Ya Cheya Kare. Ya Kare. Ya Kare. Ya Kare. Yes, we are Cheya Kare. I'm already praying over this. Yes, we are The long standing issue. Yes, we are The shame and the reproach. Yes, we are It is finished, Jesus said. It is over. What is over? Everything that does not reflect the life and the character of Christ. What is over? Shame. What is over? Delay. What is over? Reproach. What is over? Weeping. What is over? Poverty and lack. What is over? People asking you, where is your God? What is over? The absence of the glory of God in your life. What is over? Terminal diseases. Therefore, I'd like you to begin to sing that song over this prayer request.
declare it as a proclamation father it is over reproach is someone declaring I lay these anointed hands upon this request and by the spirit of grace we prophesy it is over 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 by the power of God's grace The day that I sang this song first on stage here, someone sent me a text by the next day. He said he took that song, he does not even really know how to speak outside, it's not even a Nigerian. And he said it just came with such an anointing, he sang and danced with it for over three hours. By the next day, by the next day, a contract of what maybe in Nigerian Naira will be the equivalent of one billion. The very next day something he had been pursuing almost forever yes we are changing our courage yes we are changing our courage yes we are changing our courage your spirit is calling the things that must come to an end shame and reproach father fighting mother mother fighting father antagonizing you in your place of work ministry being limited and would not grow sing it from kenya to america to europe it's a prophetic word I decree and declare over this request for someone I stand by the God of heaven if your eyes can see the Sun rise tomorrow you will also hear of the answers of this request I say it again if your eyes can see the rising of the Sun except I be not called of God but may your ears also hear the answers of this listen when prophet Elisha said by this time tomorrow the one who the king leaned on said ah even if God will open the windows of heaven might this happen people speak from the standpoint of the authority given to them by God I told you prophecy does not only reveal prophecy creates let me say it again for someone it will not reach 24 hours my god will surprise you for someone finally the answer comes tomorrow yes we are changing Every dying ministry, every life that has been bent in shame,
there is a man of God you are watching you are sitting on your chair you are watching from Nairobi you are about to quit ministry because you have done everything you know to be to do there are bills in the name of Jesus Christ I'm speaking to you by the Spirit of the Living God this song even though you may not be of the Nigerian tongue but the revelation is clear it is over and it is finished Apostle, I have four children. Where will their school fees come from? The song carries the answer. I told you this is a song of deliverance. It's a song that you war with when you have understanding. Hallelujah. Now, let me declare over you. Tokwe Sachs came here and he led us through a powerful moment of worship. Minister Dunsin came here and so powerfully pushed us into another realm of worship these things have prophetic implications in the atmosphere of worship the spirit of prophecy is strong i want to speak over your life please i want you to believe in the power of prophetic speakings because we are made by the excellency of the speakings i taught you last week everybody in christ and through spiritual understanding is a prophetic rainmaker. I taught you last week. Rainmakers use divination to manipulate the clouds so that a cloud that is barren and should not have rain, they begin to coordinate clouds from regions and gather them in one place and make it come. They call them rainmakers. And the believer in Christ, you can use the creative power of God's prophetic speakings to draw forth he said i prophesied as i was commanded and there was a sound don't ask where the sound came from he said speak to the breath the winds all winds from the four regions of the earth blow and come upon this lane there are many of us who are alive but it's like we're dead because everything that makes for living and dignity is dead in your life we're about to prophesy resurrection just a few minutes but you must receive with all your heart koinonia i pray for you as touching the grace that god has given in this prophetic season 10 is a number of a circle coming to an end i decree and prophesy to you by the god of heaven and in the name that is above every other name the rain that has been long overdue let it begin to fall time back someone reached me and I saw his text I'm so so person then I picked how are you sir and he just said apostle I didn't call you for prayer or anything for three days God had been speaking to me and God told me that from today he wants me to stand and sow this amount of seed to this ministry for as long as my business thrives I said what is this are you sure you want to did you discuss this with your wife said ah, I'm not a child I'm not a this this is what God has put in my heart and when that happened it was not really what he said that was the testimony I began to pray and I said Lord there is a covenant in this house that whatever flows from the head must go down to every part listen when you go to take your bath your leg does not struggle to touch the shower it is patient because it knows by connection you bath your whole body by standing on one position. I said all that to prophesy to you 
strangers will call you strangers will reach you strangers will look for you they will tell you they were mandated by God to insist till you rise hallelujah I traveled to a particular nation and I finished preaching went to bed to sleep by the next day I got up and then my host calls me and says apostle you are strange I said what is wrong he said come let me show you something we go out and we get to a place and there is a very very expensive car that was parked and he said a man of God drove with this car and said right here he said give it to apostle I said number one um, how do I carry this car to Nigeria number two um, the way they drive their direction of driving is not the same with our own so what well it's none of my business this is what the man has said I said call the man and we tried to speak to him you thought he would be sympathetic and say okay I'll come and take it and no leave it there it's yours what is on you is what controls what is around you I'm saying this because there are many things in our lives that have refused to change. I want to prophesy something to come upon your head. He said, my horn has thou exalted like the head of a, the horn of a unicorn. And I have been anointed with fresh oil. Please hear me, Koinonia. In the name of Jesus, I declare over you the mantle that makes for favor and for lifting. Let it rest on you now. Hallelujah. When Minister Dunsin came up, he prayed very powerfully for the grace for intimacy. I want to pray that grace for you. You are lacking seriously spiritually if you have not obtained the grace. He said, blessed is the man that God caused to approach. You are called like the king had to send for people. You don't just come. He's a summon by his grace. But when he calls you to that inner chamber, you will find treasures within the chamber that gives you authority. Even if you are a gatekeeper like Mordecai, the moment you enter the inner chamber of the king, from there you are climbing the king's horse to a life of dignity and honor. Let me speak to someone. In the name of Jesus, may your intimacy with the Holy Spirit, the value that comes from his presence, from his word, from the place of prayer let it translate to an exceptional life of signs and wonders don't be tired i'm praying let me pray over your finances please don't say it does not matter the devil is tying down people and making the matters of finance to interrupt people and not allow people to serve god with integrity and to serve god acceptably you belong to a family that has been marvelously helped of God. That name Ebenezer is a reality by the message of God. I speak to you in the name of Jesus. By the power that brought the raven to feed Elijah at Brook Cherith, so that he was not without supplies, may supernatural supplies begin to attend to your needs. In the name of Jesus I decree and I declare whoever has been mandated by God to hold your hands in this season and introduce you to the next season of your life I compel them by the Spirit to perform their ministry in the name of Jesus Christ I told you that a generation only hears you because the mantle of honor is upon you not just because you are valuable you can be valuable and yet not be heard he says thou shall take Joshua in whom is the spirit and he says thou shall lay your hands upon him hallelujah and then he says you shall take some of your honor and you shall put upon him so that the congregation would hear him it takes honor you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself honor is conferred upon you by another but when that grace is upon you 
you will speak and nations will hearken to you i decree and declare that mantle and that grace for honor may it rest visibly upon your life from tonight i stand by the privilege of god's grace alongside the coordinated grace of all the fathers in this nation that god has granted privilege to receive from nothing dies in your hands nothing dies in your hands from today begin to record on ending testimonies testimonies in the morning testimonies in the afternoon testimonies in the night in the name of jesus christ everything you have started but has not finished receive the finisher's anointing for those of you praying for divine direction to know what god wants you to do for the next season of your life in a dream of the night may my god come with accurate answers for you hear me if there is any jonah sitting in your boat making you to lose things and you are about to lose your life i throw that jonah out of the boat in the name of jesus christ and everybody who is already in the belly of the fish it looks like it has been concluded about you the same voice that spoke to the fish and informed jonah out whatever it has swallowed in your life we command it must vomit it now finally every point of contact you came here with your hands as a symbol of your productivity your documents whatever it is i decree and declare in the name of jesus christ may the grace for favor rest upon them now please hear me we pray for abuja lord behold their threatenings he said and grant that that signs and wonders be done in the name of your holy son we have a responsibility over this city and over this territory and this nation to responsibly make our spiritual contributions in making for the safety in the name of jesus we release the forces of judgment we command the wind we command the earth in the name of jesus the bible says and the stars fought for deborah we declare by the power of prophecy let the tokens of judgment be released over this city and every conspiracy of darkness that is fighting the purposes of god let it fail permanently now please hear me don't say it does not matter us and uk are not foolish people they will not throw away their reputation just for nothing saying ab about the threat and the rest but can i tell you before god will come to sodom and gomorrah he came to abraham and abraham said if you find 10 people will you still judge them and god said no I don't know about you but i'm here you can count the rest in the name of jesus christ we stand here as prophetic signposts together with all who name the name of christ and we declare the spirit that sponsors evil we command you are banished from our region <laughs> hallelujah and anyone who has vowed that for as long as he's alive, people must die. I stand by the mantle of judgment. May the earth open and swallow them. And anybody who is profiting from this wickedness, in the name of Jesus, I say it again, that which they eat will be to their death. Therefore, we release angels. The entire six local governments that make up the FCT, we release angels. 
and we pray for the neighboring regions Nasarawa State, Benue State, Plateau State, Kaduna State, Niger State. You are fortified. We pray for the law enforcement agents who labor day and night. May God grant them courage and intelligence. But as for you, I declare, may the Lord of peace himself give you peace always and by all means. Please hear me. We pray for everyone connected to this vision. The children, the spouses, the businesses in the name that is above all names. And by the mystery of the fourth man in the fire that says those who the fire had no power over, there shall be no loss. Please hear me. I want you to walk up around with vigilance, but walk with confidence. Fight fear. Did you hear what I said? Fight fear. Fight fear. I'm not stupid. The first crisis that happened officially in Plateau State, I was in the middle of it. I was somewhere in town. I sp how many years did we spend in Zaria? You know how many crises and troubles I've seen? The person speaking to you is not stupid. And he said, they that are with us are greater. Please, I want you, this fear that is palpable upon people. Now, of course, I know that, you know, wickedness and rage is there, but I am telling you this, do not fear. You fear you will not go about your activities and you will be poor, you will be broke. It's the spirit, it's not just a spirit of terrorism. It's a spirit that bankrupts people and takes away your productivity. Do your due diligence, work with wisdom, but I assure you, do not fear. Everybody who tries evil in this nation will know that there is a real throne that sits. And there is him that sits, jealously protecting the name of the Lord. For who shall say a thing and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not commanded it? Listen, we are loyal citizens, but we are not fools. There are people who God has granted grace and access. We owe a responsibility to speak prophetically over the peace of the land. It will never be that you went out and then you could not return back to your home because you were in the middle of a crisis. If it will happen, you will not go there. But if you go there, then it will not happen. Wave your hands to Jesus and give him praise. Wave your hands as a wave offering to Jesus who is the son of the living God. We give thanks. We give thanks in the name of Jesus Christ. All we have declared and all you have received tonight, it is permanent in your life in Jesus' name. Let me make the altar call before we end tonight's service. There is someone here who is saying, Apostle, thank you for all of the mighty things that Jesus has done through you to his people. But my issue right now is that I need Jesus and I need him desperately. And there's someone who is saying, Apostle, I've, I remember giving my heart to Jesus, but sincerely as it is now, things are not yet right in my life. I do not want to leave this service without that encounter. Please, wherever you are, I know that our time is gone, but let me one minute of your time. I want you to leave your seat right now and come. Come and stand here. Don't be ashamed. Don't look around. Be bold and come and stand. There has to be someone. If you are coming, God bless you. God bless you. For someone you are saying, well, I remember giving my heart to Jesus, but as it is, things are not all right. Can I come to rededicate my life? Join them. God bless you. Are you celebrating them, Koinonia? Come. Come. Let him give you a new beginning. It is true that no Jesus, no life. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Keep coming. You can make it right with him right now. Hallelujah. Lift your right hand, all of you who are here, and I'm going to lead you to pray this prayer. 
if there are those who are still coming or in all the overflows you can just stay right where you are and pray the prayer very quickly in the name of Jesus Christ as I pray with you I want your heart to be open Jesus is here to receive you and give you a new beginning lift your right hand and say after me Lord Jesus tonight I have heard your word I have seen your power I believe in you that you are the Son of God right now I receive Jesus into my heart as my Lord as my Savior and as my King I declare that the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken over my life I declare from tonight and forever that I am a child of God washed by the blood of the Lamb I go forward ever and backward never in Jesus name father thank you for these ones they have come declaring their faith and the Bible says as many who will come to him you will in no wise cast away I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that based on the authority of Scripture and by your declaration I declare your sins forgiven the Lord gives you a new beginning from tonight you go from glory to glory and grace to grace may the marvelous hand of God rest upon you you are blessed you remain blessed in Jesus much less name amen and amen God bless you please may I request that you follow the counselors just move to my right which is your left there are counselors there they would honor you and have a word with you very quickly and you'll be back to your seat just appreciate them as they go <clears throat> hallelujah now let me encourage you for next service up until the last miracle service is going to be times of intense prayer encounters and every service is really going to be a miracle service because we are pushing through to see that that which God has ordained for you in this season of marvelous light that it must come strong so make sure your heart is opened make sure that you are you participate in every 